Let's move on. This one should be pretty quick, I believe. And if you are a fan of the Rice Owls, I apologize right now. I'm sorry. Two and eleven last year, one and seven in conference. They return six starters on offense, seven on defense. Head coach Mike Bloomgren, like I like Bloomgren. You know, I, I like what he's trying to do. He's in year two. He's trying to install the uh, the Stanford model. It doesn't really fit Texas. You know, it, it's tough to recruit guys to the. And I'm not saying it's tough to recruit like smart guys. I'm saying. Like they do, like air raid, and and they like to to fling the ball around a little bit in Texas, and the Stanford model in the Houston area. I don't know if it fits. Like it it, it didn't. It looked very it looked like this was not a very organized team last year. Uh, number one hundred three in total defense. They had to play a ton of underclassmen in two thousand eighteen, but they got seven starters back. Uh, the defense did improve a little bit. I mean, it, the coach this year said that the defense is is looking awesome in spring. The quarterback battle is down to senior grad transfer Tom Stewart from Harvard and redshirt freshman Wiley Green. Green played last year, uh, but they, you know, the four-game thing to keep your, your year of eligibility, they did that with him. Uh, running back uh, Juno Otoviano. Jumo. I like that name. Uh, he's going to be super exciting. Like, this dude's going to be able to do a lot. Absolutely brutal schedule here at Army, Wake Forest, Texas, Baylor, Louisiana Tech, at UAB to start with. I think once you get hit so much to open the season, it is very difficult to come back from. This schedule is brutal from top to bottom. I can't find a single win. I hate doing it. I got him goose egg. I got him 0-12. I hate doing it. I did the same thing. We talked about this before, right before the show. We- we we go over this every time. We we never really talk or compare notes until we get here to do it. Yeah. And I just I, I always try to find one win. And I thought before I even went into it, I'm gonna have them beat UTEP. I'm gonna have them win that game because that's the only game I think is gonna be close or that they have a chance. And then I saw that is at UTEP, that is senior day for UTEP. UTEP's yep. not losing that game. Yeah. I can't I can't I can't All find of their- a win. On the schedule. All of their toss-up games are on the road. And toss-up is a very loose, loose yeah. word here. I mean, it's – I just – I can't find I'd, anywhere that – I'd love that, to be wrong because watching kids play that hard, practice, prepare, put the hours and time in that they put in to come across with zero wins is just hard to swallow. It's – But it's this is one of those teams – This is one of those teams where they probably could have found a win. Yeah. But instead, they took some checks. And they, yeah. if you look at the top half of their schedule, Whew. they took lots of checks. Well, that's it. Army, Wake Forest, Texas, and Baylor. I mean, that's that's some tough stuff, man. And if you're going to take checks. They could have found, you know, a lower division team, brought them in. Something to get some confidence. To get, to get a win and get it early. Yeah. And they said, no, nah, we'll just take the money. Yeah, we'll take and the money. And you know what? I kind of like that. I mean, cheers to them. Like, it's a, take, <laughs> take the money. But, man, it's like you, you got to – to get out of a losing culture, you have to win at some point. So you got to be able to schedule some wins sometimes. Uh, and they, they have not done that whatsoever. Rice, uh, we both got them 0-12. I mean, if you went to Rice, comment in. Tell us what we're missing. Like, Because I'm just, I cannot find one. Or if you just need a place to lament, it's a yeah. safe spot. Yeah, yeah we're safe. Yeah, just talk to us. We'll, we'll help you out a little bit. We'll talk you through this. We've been, we've been fans of some bad teams. Yeah, Chris was a fan of the, of the Browns when they went zero and sixteen. Y'all only got twelve games; they had sixteen. That's right. So now the good thing is, you know, Bloomberg gives you a little bit of hope. So maybe things can turn around. Maybe things can turn around, but I don't think it's happening this year. 